So we've been missing you in the UK. Tell us what happened because you ended up being in LA for quite a long time, didn't you? Yeah, I um, yeah, I moved there for for a while just because everything sort of took off for me, which was incredible. Like, how lucky am I to get that opportunity? So, yeah, I just rode the wave. And I, I loved every minute of it. How do the Americans compare to the Brits? Like kind of the fans and just, just what's it like over there compared to here? Um, there's not that much difference. I mean, I'm really lucky. My fan base is always super positive. We all stick together. We have, yeah, that, that very um, positive mentality of lifting people up. And that's the same in every single country for me, which is, amazing yeah we definitely don't do um dragging people down i love that and i love the way that you are kind of your fans best mate you want to talk to them you want to hear from them and are, yeah. are they still called the brats no not really yeah i'm, I'm 26 years old now and <laughs> um so i think a lot of my fans have grown up with me um and that was a a name that was used like, in the beginning. I was about 16 years old when that name came about. So a lot of things have changed. We've all very much matured now. <laughs> so talk to me about, you know, just, you were 16 years old. Has time gone quickly? Too quickly, far too quickly. I feel like it's, it's kind of weird because I feel like I've lived like two lives already. Um, just because I've achieved so much at such a young age. I started at 16, I'm 26 now, and I've, I've squeezed so much within that time. Um, and plus I got married young, had a baby, and you know, it's just, I'm just really lucky to have done this much at such a young age, really. It's amazing. You must look back at your achievements and just think, you know, I've got so much more to give as well, and you're only 26 years old. Yeah, I'm really lucky, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, there's this uh, stigma especially against women in the music industry about age. And it's been around for years. Um, and I once heard someone say that if you're over the age of, I think it was like 22, um, and as a new artist, you have less chance of a record label signing you up because of your age. So yeah, that's always been a big thing, but I feel really lucky to have had the opportunity to start really young and still 10 years later, still be doing what I love, which is incredible. What do you think it is then about women? Why do we have this stigma? Especially, it's not just music, it's television. Um, you know, and girls think, well, I've got to 30, I've got to give up now. What, what is it? Why have we got that attitude? And how, is, it, is it getting better? I think um, for a long time, there's been this, uh, this tone of um, age, Growing older means that you lose your beauty, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I just think it's awful that um, as women, we have to have that attached to us. Like our talents mean less because we've aged. That's not, it's not right. It's just not right. And I think that stigma has been around for such a long time, but yet as a man grows older, He's sexy because, you know, these wrinkles appear and it's like, it's all sexy. But for a woman, the wrinkles, well, we have to get rid of those because uh, it's not beauty anymore. Um, and I'm against all of that, Tosh. I think it's rubbish. What's it like watching yourself back um, from the X Factor when you were 60? Do you do you recognise yourself? Do, do, are you, is it surprising when you watch yourself back? Because I don't think you've changed at all as in looks wise. You look so young still, you look amazing, your skin is glowing. Um, what's it like looking back? But it's, it seems like a lifetime away. Um, and I've changed so much as a person. So to watch me at that age now feels really strange. Um, I just kind of wish that I know what I know now, um, but I, I didn't. I was really young and naive and excited. And I used to think that artists literally just went on stage and did like interviews, that everything was really glam. That's not how it is. It's not, not how it is at all. That's like 10% of the time as an artist is doing those things. Um, and I just didn't know that. 
and um, yeah, but it's still, it brings back so many good memories to see my time during The X Factor. I had such a great time. And if you look at the class of 2010, it, it's incredible what you guys have achieved. So good. So good. It was the best year by far. I don't think anyone can argue that. No. It was the year, and I don't think that they'll ever be able to top that year. Um, and I say that because of the people that I, I shared my time with on that show. Really, really great, genuine people, talent above anything. Um, and yeah, I just, I feel that I've never seen that show be so good. So there's no regrets about going on it because obviously, you know, you are where you are, but you did have a bad time. It, you said you probably didn't realise how much work was involved either in regards to what you just said. Um, you've worked yeah. really, really hard since. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't change anything or, or would you go back and do anything different? I think that, um, of course, I was super naive and I didn't understand that it was a singing show. But it was also a reality TV show. And that's the biggest point, is that they had to make a TV show. So unfortunately for me at the time, the character that I was sort of portrayed as wasn't necessarily who I was. Um, and then also a load of other things, like being 16 years old, being thrown into that environment, not knowing how to cope, not really having someone to lean on at the time. I found it very difficult. But with that being said, I think um, we all do that thing where it's much easier to dwell on the negative than it is to look on the positive. Yeah. But I don't view my time on the show as being negative. I think I was I was given such an amazing opportunity, the platform, to still be able to continue being an artist 10 years later, which is, you know, it's kind of rare being from a show like that. Well, you and also you've got the talent to match it, which is amazing. And so the 1D boys, I mean, they've done incredibly are you, I think they're going to celebrate 10 years this year. Are you going to celebrate by doing anything? I mean, yeah. Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll celebrate. Um, I'm not really sure where we're going to be at that time. Um, it's it's all, it's just all so crazy at the moment, isn't it? Um, but yeah, absolutely. I will definitely celebrate um, and have a little drink and reminisce on my time on the show. And yeah. Do you speak to the lads at all? Do you hear from them? Um, we tend to bump into each other at different award ceremonies and stuff like that. And do you know what? They haven't changed as people. Still genuinely nice um, people. So it's, all, it's always good to see good people doing good. And are you a fan of them now? Because I'm sure they're a fan of you and your music. But isn't it nice that you can kind of love each other's music and buy it and download it and, and support them? That's so nice yeah. in this industry. Yeah, definitely. I think there's... Um, there's uh, definitely that connection of being from the same place. Um, and still, like I said before, still 10 years later, still releasing music. It's, it's amazing.